book is about uh, the death of a police inspector in Hong Kong in 1980 and the circumstances surrounding it and the scandal which was suppressed at the time during the inquiry which was made into his death. It's a very tragic tale, uh, a sad one, um, because the young man committed suicide. But it did lead to a change in Hong, in Hong Kong uh, in the law on same-sex um, activity. I think the major difficulty was finding information. Uh, there were probably only about half the people I approached were prepared to speak about this. There are quite a lot of people still left alive. They, um, most of them, or many of them, were very wary of um, speaking about it because it was still a very difficult subject for them. Many had suffered because they lost their jobs during it. The second problem was that the, the government is not happy about releasing information. So finding information was quite hard. Um, and then finally, it was, it was difficult because the story is very complicated. Um, Hong Kong's history needs to be preserved and needs to be um, published. Um, things which are important here are as important as anywhere else. And uh, issues of history like this, which are important to Hong Kong, should be recorded and should be made public. So I believe that his story needed telling to justify him. Uh, he never has had this story told publicly. And the final thing was that a lot of people know the story a little bit, um, but they, uh, the, the detail was never there. Most people have got the story a little bit right, but mostly wrong. And I think it's right that uh, such an important story, people should know the real detail. When the British left, they only left the job half done. Uh, the law uh, against um, homosexual acts in private had been changed, so that that was made legal, but nothing else. So society has not been allowed to accept homosexuality or really any form of different um, sexual orientation. Um, and the law does not allow for people to fight discrimination. Um, so they can still lose their jobs, and they can still be thrown out of their flat, um, they can still uh, be persecuted uh, with no recourse to the courts. So things need to be expanded here and changed a bit. And I think the days when people here didn't believe that this was necessary have gone. The public relations, or the public surveys are now quite clear that most people in Hong Kong now believe there should be legislation for discrimination. Um, so Hong Kong has a long way to go. Um, and I think it, it, we risk being left behind by Asia. Places like Thailand and Taiwan um, are changing their laws. Um, and society is changing there. Uh, we need to keep up.